Duelists, what is up? Alex here, aka Inch95, bringing you guys another one of my biggest bust series. The series where I talk about cards, strategies, decks, etc. Anything in Yu-Gi-Oh! that had a little bit of hype to it or a lot of hype to it that never really worked out competitively or even casually. Today I have a, an individual card here today that I'm ta going to talk about. It's a card that I've, I've talked about in card reviews in the past. It's actually when it came out and the card never lived up to that hype. I thought it was going to be a card that was going to see a ton of play in, in the future. You, you actually thought it was eventually going to end up being a card that was potentially banned uh, just because it, it had that floodgate potential for players that were already ahead, especially in a simplified game state. I'm here to talk about this card today. It's a very cool card, but first I got to drop some shout outs to the 510 area code dubs. Going back to the finals, just watched the Warriors game. Uh, you guys know I'm a diehard Lakers fan, but I lived in uh, Oakland, Emeryville for most of my life. And um, shout outs to the dubs, doing it big. Gonna go, uh, gonna go play for the finals, the championship back to back against the Cavs this Thursday, ladies and gentlemen. So, Splash Brother Time, the card of the day today for this episode is Heat Wave. It's a normal spell card that says this card can only be activated at the start of main phase one. Neither player can normal summon or special summon an effect monster until your next draw phase. Very, very straightforward, very simple effect. It's really just a cold wave during the main phase one. You have to play just like cold wave uh, at the start of your main phase one, and it basically prevents any player from summoning. Uh, whether it be normal, especially summoning any any effect monster in the game. Now, obviously, over the course of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh, we've had uh, competitive cards uh, that were vanillas, or cards being competitive play that happened to be vanillas. You know, everything from like the Draco stuff to uh, Saber Source Caboozles to a lot of other vanillas in Yu-Gi-Oh that were played. But the reality is, they're not a big part of Yu-Gi-Oh. At least competitively, a lot of you know most of the stuff. You know, if you look at the current meta, you know, Cosmos and and Monarchs and and, and BA and PK and all these other decks pretty much everything is just an effect monster for like 99% of the competitive monsters out there and the reality is this card was essentially hyped up and it's interesting because it was a star strike blast card and I remember when I was you know I was thinking when this card was released back in the day I mean star strike blast is a very widely recognized set as a set that has a lot of cards in it that really were very like under the radar and eventually shot up in value over time uh, or were high value at the time and really just it's it's one of those uh, really just iconic sets in Yu-Gi-Oh because of that and you know to this day I still think that Heat Wave has potential in the future and I'm really surprised no one's ever really tried it out I think it's a great card in simplified game states especially if you're ahead it's obviously terrible uh, drawing it against an established board it's terrible drawing early game if your opponent you know if you're if it's not a combo card it's a card that it, in a sense it kind of acts like a mini floodgate because imagine you set up a board with like Monarchs or Cosmos or or whatever competitive deck right now and your opponent you know has like a you know like one monster in the field or something right or really not really too ex impressive of a board and you have you develop a board or just before you start developing a board or once you already have a couple monsters on your board you draw this or you rip into this you heat wave them you run over, you know, whatever board that they have, and next turn, they can't really establish a board. Uh, and the reality of that is this card still has that blowout potential, and uh, I still think that this card has a lot of potential, but it was definitely one of those cards that to this day uh, was hyped up. I wouldn't say too much. It definitely had a little bit of hype behind it, but it was a huge bust in my opinion, and it's a card that... Uh, that still will remain in my under the radar cards. It's a card that can always resurface. It's a rare. I mean, I don't think this card has actually ever been reprinted. Uh, you know, it's kind of bizarre that when you think about it, because Cold Wave was, you know, Cold Wave's banned, banned for a reason. It shuts down basically three game mechanics. Um, you know, you can't activate spells, you can't activate traps, you can't set traps and um, or spells, obviously. And that essentially breaks down like three or four game mechanics. While Heat Wave, it really does the same thing for monsters. And it's kind of weird because the game is kind of gravitated away from traps and whatnot. So, theoretically, like, this card should be better if monsters and combo pieces uh, are much more prevalent, but the reality is it's not, and um, I find that kind of interesting, but nonetheless, we'll see how this card develops. Again, in my opinion, still one of the biggest busts, one of the cards that, uh, you know, I, I was stocking up on a bunch of these in the past. I thought it was going to be one of those rares that really shot up to, like, $10, $15 if it was never reprinted. Um, like I said, it didn't happen, and uh, maybe it'll happen one day, maybe it won't. It is a Star Strike Blast card, and cards like these from Star Strike Blast always have that potential, so we'll never know uh, until that happens, but um, for now, definitely one of the biggest busts in Yu-Gi-Oh! history, and I think it's recognized as a bust both competitively and casually, because Cold Wave was used both competitively and casually, and obviously competitively got banned because of that, so um, yeah. Maybe one day Heat Wave will end up on that ban list. Maybe it won't. We'll see. Let me know what you guys think of this card. Heat Wave. Do you guys have any other biggest bust? I know I'm slacking on doing cards that were under the radar from Star Strike Blaster just in general that um, 
that were under the radar and then became hyped up. I will start that series. It's just I'm doing my finals right now. Uh, a lot of term papers, finding of you know winding down. Uh, my university is on the quarter system, so it's a little weird for me. But uh, this is my last week of school, and then finals are next week. And I'm really just trying to get a lot of stuff done amidst watching the NBA finals this Thursday. So, Dub Nation, you know, like I said, I'm a diehard Laker fan, but I got to support the home team. Uh, even though I live in Sacktown, I don't really like the Kings that much. But anyways, so uh, see you guys. Uh, have a great week. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please help this video reach, uh, I don't know, let's try 50 likes. I think that's a, that's a respectable goal. You guys have been smack crashing it on the last couple videos. If we can reach 50 likes, that'd be awesome. I do have a special product giveaway and review that I will be doing in the next week, as well as some more pack openings and deck profiles, so stay tuned for that. See you guys. Peace out. Take care. And Time Wizard is out, ladies and gentlemen. Time magic.